Good evening. Is it conceivable that Africa has the potential to be the powerhouse continent of the future? Or is our view of the continent still mired with images of poverty and disease? My goal here today is to do two things. The first is to trigger mindful optimism towards the AI conversation. And secondly, is to highlight uh, applications of AI that are improving the quality of life within Africa. Mindful optimism disentangles us from the fear and fantasy of an AI apocalypse. It helps us identify the future we want and not just the future we fear. Everything we love about civilization has been a product of human intelligence. Imagine with me the endless possibilities when we use AI to amplify our own intelligence. In Africa, an elephant is killed roughly every 15 minutes. At this rate, the surviving population of just 100,000 elephants, which is down from a peak of 2 million, will be destroyed over the next few years. With artificial intelligence, Resolve experts are working to provide a new pair of digital eyes to park rangers. They use vision chips with battery life of up to 18 months to track the elephants, to monitor suspicious activity, and predict where poachers will strike next based on their database of past hands. The fertile land in Kenya has the ability to lift millions out of poverty. Up to 60% of African smallholder farmers are women who until the advent of mobile technology had little to no access uh, to financial products such as loans. FarmDrive, a Kenyan startup, is using alternative credit scoring models to ensure their financial inclusion. Where smallholders where smallholder farmers have access to credit, they can sustainably contribute to the economic development and improve their own livelihoods as well as the livelihoods of the people around them. This credit scoring algorithm does not just do that. It provides an opportunity for lenders to access insurance in the event of unforeseen weather patterns. At InstaDeep, where I work, we are using data from food retail stores in Tunis to predict customer demand customer behavior and also to improve customer service. And these are just a few ways in which AI is making our lives better. It's helping us save wildlife, it's lifting po uh, farmers out of poverty and helping us improve customer service. And we have barely scratched the surface. AI promises to bring unparalleled benefits to the continent. It is accelerating development of industries that are eco-friendly and making the most of our limited resources. So yes, the the promises of artificial intelligence extend further beyond the problems of Silicon Valley. And I'll share with you the African privilege. More than 60% of the population in Sub-Saharan Africa is under the age of 25. Yet only 0.5% of the global population know how to code. This, ladies and gentlemen, is where the risk and the opportunity lies. Can we teach young people how to make robust technology that is beneficial to them and their communities before ceding power to it? Can we learn how to clearly define research questions and build towards the future that we deserve? Can we create AI systems that are compatible with our ideals of human dignity, our rights, our freedoms, and our cultural diversity? It is my hope that this majlis will help us identify common ground on these issues. AI is and will continue to provide us the opportunity to rewrite our future. And from where I stand, this is a future that is filled with a strong African voice, with strong African youth representation, representation of African women, African scientists, and African innovators, and not just Africans, but representation of the whole world. I have a stake in my future and refuse to settle for a divided world. Thank you.